Good morning, y'all. I am back with a flip through of the Sheila Sales Seashells by the Seashore. I know I had started out um, doing this tutorial and I was going to decorate it along with y'all so y'all could see, but it became too personal. Um, I have a son in the Navy and I went to see him before he was deployed in January and stuff happened out there and um, just a lot of personal stuff that I can't even explain how it happened but it, it was it's something that is very special to me and a lot of emotions were coming up while I was thinking about this and I knew I couldn't get through it without um, breaking down trying to do a video so I decided to do the video and then I will we'll talk about at the end what how we want to go from here so this is the front it is super super chunky and grunge and all of that but it turned I'm very pleased with the way that it turned out so here is the front part and you just there I think this is where I left off when I had had my husband since he's a Navy vet tie me some knots in, in this and then this is just part of the kit and then here is a I made a bookmark out of the lace snippet uh, roll that I had sewed last week and I just clipped it on with the bulb clip and then on this you lift it up and he he is in the kit also and then here here is a piece of lace down here that I sewed on I sewed on a piece also down here so here's a piece of lace and then across here is a snippet roll that I sewed on so you open it up and on this side is a lace belly band now this belly band I have underneath here the blue part I sewed the lace onto it and to give it a little bit of more stability and so I just glued it on on both sides and then these are in the digital kit just little ephemera pieces and journaling spots so that's on that that's that side and then this side this is an embossed I have the embossing folder with that and it's got anchors and wheels on it steering wheels on it and I just embossed that and then I folded it over made a hinge and now I turned it into a flap and then I took one of the pictures from from my kit and just kind of made it a tuck spot <clears throat> and then here is an envelope that I had made more journaling ticket seashells and then a little tag and then under here is a glassine bag let me see if you can see the dots on it but it's a it's also a embossed I put ran it through the embossing folder and then you know how when you run something through a embossing folder it's so delicate afterwards so I just kind of glued on some lace a strip of lace right there to make it more sturdy and then inside the bag is another envelope and then this little little journaling spot just little pages that's acrylic dyed paper that I, I was dyeing some ribbon and I had that left over so I just blotted some paper on it so that's that all that back in there and so now to this one <clears throat> this is a little flap that I had made and it's got little seagulls flying and then this is from the kit also and then I just glued on some pearl a little strip of pearls and then I made this into a little tuck spot 
That's another little ticket and a little picture of at the ocean. And then here's another picture of tags. So that's the front inside. So now we'll go to this one. And this, I have, I made another little flap with some lace and tickets and scrap that I had. And then this right here is a cupcake holder uh, wrapper. And so I just folded it in and it's super easy. And then I just sewed on some lace and a little cut there. And then just a little picture and tucked it in there. And then I took the little ladies in their bathing suit and made it a little pocket in here. A ticket, just little ephemeras with the beach. And get him in there. And then I took some more of that jute rope and tied it into a bow and then took some more of that lace snippet and sewed that in there. So that's that flap. And then on this one, I have stuff falling out everywhere, is just, this is a music sheet, and it's called the Mermaid Song, and then I took more of that pearl uh, strip and glued it on there. Behind here is some, a dolly, and then some, now this striped paper is from my stash, and then in here is another little pocket that I had created, make a pocket. And so that's this side. So you open it up, put that flap down, and we'll start over on this side. And this I just glued on a piece of lace and turned it into a little tuck spot. And then here, this is not, this is part of my stash I had. Since my son's in the Navy, I have a lot of seaside and nautical stuff. And I thought this went pretty well with with the theme. This one was stretching a, a bit, but I like the saying of it, so I just kind of put it in there, tuck it away. And then here is that says life ring. And then I just put a lot of snippets that I had laying around, just like that. And then I hooked them all with this bulb, bulb ring. And I just put that in there. And that's more just for decorations than anything. And then on to the middle part. Here is a one of the pockets, a side slant pocket, and I just put it up the top and made it a tuck spot. And the shell and her sitting on on their mermaid. And then this is another part from that paper pad that I have. And then inside here, I guess I should move that up. Inside here is another a pocket that I had made and just turned that picture into another little journaling spot with tracing paper, copy paper, ledger paper, more of that ledger paper. And then this I was big enough and I made that a little flip out. So that goes in there. I'll put these back up in here. I was very pleased with the way that this turned out. When I was thinking of the digital kit, I had a whole different direction. But, you know, that don't always go like it's supposed to. And then this is in the kit also. It's a, a boy and a girl playing at the beach. But it always reminds me, she had red hair and I'm redhead. And then... This reminded me of my sister, because we, her and my dad loved the ocean. They loved the beach, and we would go almost every year, and um, they would go deep sea fishing. Now I wouldn't go with them because that was not my thing. I would sit on the beach, but this reminded me of my me and my sister. And this was part of the snippet roll that I'd cut off and just glued. And here is another envelope that I had made that's in the kit and this is in the kit also along with this 
And then this is part of that paper pad that I was telling you about that I had. I think I put all that back in there. We got to go, before my son was deployed, we got to go spend Easter, or Easter, Christmas with him. And it was pretty special. And then I got to go back <clears throat> right before he was deployed and spend just him and me time alone. Okay, this is the top inside. And so here is, I have <clears throat> taken a bulb with some a lace snippet and an anchor. And here's, this is one of the pockets that's included in the kit. And just a sailor and I'm going to say it's a sister, but I know better. And I just tied some, uh, punched a hole in it and eyelet and put some sari silk and just a seashell. And then sewed lace on here at the bottom. And then you flip it out. And these are just two envelopes with the flaps side by side stuck in and glued in together. And this is, this one, well, I guess they would both be. No, this one's coffee dyed, and then this one is red cabbage dyed. And give them two different looks. And then this is in the kit, and it's just a, pa a painting. It looks like a watercolor painting of, of at the beach and the boardwalk. And then on the back side, I just glued in. If y'all seen the first one, you seen where I just sewed some cardstock, and I just glued that on there, made it sturdy. Tuck that in there. And then in here, on this side, it's with that little girl, those two little girls, at the beach, and I just made it a journaling spot. And then this is another. I make cards also, so this was a card, and I had also cabbage dyed this, red cabbage dyed, dyed, dyed it, and that's what I got on that, so I thought I would use that as a journaling card too, and I probably will not ever journal in this, but just have it, and then I, I made this, I glued down both sides here, and made it a little tuck spot for another little tag, and then back behind there, I don't know if you can see it, is that postcard. And I just kind of ripped it up and glued it on there. So that's this side. And then on this side, I had taken a strip of dyed lace and, and glued it to some more cardstock. And then just cut around it and then glued it here to make it more sturdy. And this bag, my client, her and her husband, this year went to Spain and she brought me back a little fan and it was and was in this bag and it was it was a long pretty long bag and I just loved it and it at that time we knew Jacoby would be be going to Spain so it just meant that much more to me so it I knew it had to be in this kit the colors aren't the match the best but it's the sentimental part of it and then here is a little booklet that I made out of all this these are all in the kit also just more journaling spots in there and tuck it in there <clears throat> open that up and we'll come over here I'm hoping I'm, this is so oblong and awkward I hope I'm getting it all in focus and then I took the other Side, uh, side slit pocket include another knot rope on there made it a side pocket here and then this this was part of my stash and this was also part of this papers in the kit and I just tore them and inked them up and, and glued them down and then this one is in the kit it's just a beach scene beautiful that reminds me of when I was there except for that it was very cloudy and stuff, and when I was there, well, and Christmas, there was, no one was allowed to go into the water, so it was not, not very many people at the beach both times. And that's just a little file folder, mini file folders with the ladies in their bathing suits, and just a fish and circle. Lots of embellishments in this. 
and then fold this out and here is the middle part and here here I took this stripe paper right here goes all the way and this is from my stash and then I glued it down glued a dually and then three hearts from the kit I cut them and glued them and then this is just a strip of those pearls and then here is another uh, one of those cupcake holders and I just glued it and this was the top part of that bag from my friend and I glued some lace and put a heart on there and then just some more ephemera from there and that's just kids playing and then an envelope and they all just tuck in there And then inside here is the little <coughs> tuck, tuck spot. It's opened up here, but I sewed down here. And here, I need to glue that down. Um, it's the part of the rest of that bag that my client, my friend, gave me. And I just added some little tissue paper and a part from a book and some lace and some pearls to it. And just turned it into another little journaling spot. Papers, pattern papers dyed papers and that's coffee dyed papers I hope y'all didn't hear my vacuum cleaner she got hung up somewhere that tissue paper and just dyed papers and this is part of my stash and I thought it went so well so that's that part and this is another piece of pattern paper pad that I have and the it is beautiful and it's got all different colors and this is the closest that I could find that went with this kit because it really didn't have blues per se so I didn't get to use it as much as I thought I was going to in there and then this is just another this part is in the kit this paper and then when I printed these out I printed them double-sided because I had really thought about making a journal into this, but then I'd seen this file folder and I wanted to attempt it. So I didn't get to use as much, I mean, like I thought I would. And then I just take took some of that acrylic dyed paper and threw, threw in some tissue paper and a little snippet and then took some of that rope and stapled it. No, I didn't staple it. I punched it with my it all. put some eyelets in it, put it over, and then I just turned it into more dyed paper, that ruled school paper, an index card, and this is dyed something, I can't remember, maybe it, looking here it might have been coffee dyed. And so I took, I have a little a clothespin that I got from Dollar Tree and it holds it pretty well I hope it stands up but that's the inside I didn't go over here and this is the postcard and I had really had thought about making it a pocket but then I should have put it on this side but here if I put it here it's gonna be too hard to get out so I didn't didn't glue it I haven't figured out what I want to do with it but I just put a hinge on it and made it kind of a flip for, for now. And then I took some more of that lace and I kind of just jagged, went down to and glued on both sides and up here a little bit. And so it has a little tuck spot here just for more ephemera and shells and that tag. Just tuck it in there. So that is that side. Whoop, bent, bent that up. So now to the back side. And I, creating this, I thought, well, this is my favorite part. And then I'd create some more, and I thought, then this is my favorite part. So it was, it's hard to decide. Okay, so on the back flip, this is more of the snippet roll that I had sewed up. And I have a tutorial on this in some of the videos if you want to see this made so I just took it 
And then I took some more of that tissue paper and paper that I had from the kit and kind of glued it all and then put a heart on there and then made this. This is not in the kit. This is part of my stash and made it kind of a tuck spot and more of that embossed folder and just I had this. This was just scraps and I hated to let it go to waste so I just made it into a little booklet and it tucks in there. And then these ladies in their bathing suit again, I just kind of left it to be where it could be a pocket and just circles and seashells from the kit and just stuck them in there. So I open it up. Here's more lace snippet from the snippet roll that I had created. And then I just took this and just tore and then inked up all the edges and put that in there. And then this one, this is the last part, I sewed some lace onto, this is a card envelope, and I had taken it, and I'd cut, cut the side down here, so you could make it a side pocket. So in here, there it is. Oh, here is more of that kit that I did, wanted to use, but I didn't get to use. See how beautiful that is? And then a coffee dyed index card and then I just I have a tag punch and I just tag punched it and ripped and put an eyelet and some hemp string on there and so now you have a little pocket here and then this is the boy sailor boy and his girl sister and you flip it out I put a hinge on it and then this is another part of the kit and it's just a menu from it and I glued it on the back side so then I had this left from the kit and I thought that that goes so good with back here so I just took some more and that's on the back side took some more papers copy and papers ruled lined paper and this is a pattern paper in my stash and tissue papers and this is a old dolly that paper dolly that did not make it as you can see and I hated to throw it out because it I mean look at all that I just couldn't so I thought well it would fit perfect in here so I had that and more paper Whoops, that one didn't get stapled in and just a little journaling and I stapled it together and then I sew or glued on some more of that lace snippet and then this is the brad and I had got this from Tuesday morning and I thought the color of it was matched so perfect so I had to put that I wasn't going to put it but then I seen it I put this heart on first but then I seen that and so I thought well I'll go ahead but I think it's just beautiful and then I was going to cover this but then looking at it I don't know if y'all can see all that texture in there um, from the gesso and I just thought oh I hate to cover up that texture like that so I left it with all the coffee stains and then the inking that I did and then the gesso coming through I hated to really cover it up so I just left it so and that just kind of folds in there and there you go that's the Sheila sells seashells. Sea <laughs> Sheila sells seashells by the seashore, and this is this is what it is. Now, I know I said we was going to do this together, but but since it became so personal, I decided not to. But I thought if you would leave a comment below and want me to decorate a, a different theme uh, file folder, I would I would like to do that. So just let me leave a comment below what you would like to see and um, we'll work with that. But anyway, thanks for stopping by.